siblings in Christ, we find ourselves once more at the beginning of the journey of Lent. Lent begins with that familiar invitation to the acts of prayer and meditation, to repentance and reconciliation. It's an invitation for us to examine ourselves, our church, and our world, and to make a right beginning of transformation of the world more towards the dream that God has for us and for those whom we are called to serve. It's an invitation to join Jesus in that wilderness experience. A few years ago, I had the opportunity to go to the Holy Land, to walk in the footsteps of Jesus and those spiritual ancestors who have gone before us. And one of the most profound times for me was spending time out in the desert and wilderness, where things seem to be completely barren and dead, where there's silence. The thing about being in the desert, being in the wilderness, is the wilderness is waiting to spring forth with life. It is a place where we can retreat, where we can step away, where we can begin to plan and dream with God, what God is doing in our lives and in our church. I think we are called in the midst of this season of Lent, as a diocese, as a people who follow Jesus, to spend some time in the wilderness, to listen more intently, intently, to see more clearly, to hear once again God speaking to us about God's dream for who we are called to be. The wilderness invites us to a time of self-examination, to ask the hard questions about where God is calling us and where we might find Jesus' footsteps in the places that may seem barren and desolate. So I invite you this season of Lent to spend some time in the wilderness. We all, over the last 10 months, may have felt as though this has been one long Lent in pandemic. And we can acknowledge our grief and the losses that we have endured over that time. But we must also be able to see this time as a time of fermentation, a time of longing, a time of learning, a time of yearning, a time of looking for Jesus where he has gone ahead of us, that we might find his footsteps, that we may redeem this wilderness as we look towards the coming again from the dead of Christ at Easter. I invite you, therefore, to the observance of a Holy Lent, a time of our self-examination, a time for us to pray together, to be together even while we are apart, to continue to find Jesus present in whatever wildernesses we may find ourselves. Because you see, the thing about the wilderness is that it is waiting to spring once more to life. And I think the same is true for us. May God continue to bless you and keep you as we enter this period of longing, of learning, of listening, of being where Christ has already been. And may we continue to be those places that bring new life, where life may not have always been. May you continue to be Christ for those to whom Christ has sent you.